In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft multiplayer with mods. Now there's multiple different ways that you can do this and one method that I really recommend is using the Essential Mod. The Essential Mod is a free Minecraft mod that will allow you to host your very own modded servers for free. So to begin the process, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. Then all you want to do is you want to select on Essential Mod just like so and go to the official Essential.gg website just like so. Okay now even though the Essential Mod is a great option, unfortunately it does have its limitations. For starters, these servers are not 24-7, meaning that they're only going to work when you're online playing. And also they can be a little bit confusing and glitchy to set up. But if you guys want a simple plug and play solution, then consider using our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to play mods with you and all of your friends without any compromises. You guys can enjoy an unlimited 24-7 server that you guys can go ahead and set up. And what's great about Simple Game Hosting is that they make everything incredibly beginner friendly because they have dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything along with 24-7 live customer support. So guys, if you want a no compromise, no limitations experience playing modded Minecraft with you and your friends, Simple Game Hosting is the way to do it. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. If that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on download just like so and wait for the essential installer to be installed. Okay, but once you have that downloaded, the next thing we need to do is we actually need to download some mods in order to play multiplayer with. Now, one of the best ways to do that is by using an application called CurseForge. So all you want to do is you want to look up CurseForge app download just like so, then go ahead and select on this link just like so. CurseWord is a free application that is easily going to let you download mods. So all you want to do is you want to press on download standalone just like so and wait for it to be installed. Then you want to go ahead and select on the installer file just like so. And then it is going to open up a menu that looks like this. It's going to say welcome to CurseForge. So go ahead and press on next. Then go ahead and press on I accept, then go ahead and press on next, and now wait for CurseForge to install. And basically all the popular mods and mod packs are here on CurseForge, so chances are if you're trying to play something like RLCraft, then you are good to go. Once it's finished installing, please go ahead and press on finish just like so, and then now it is going to go ahead and open up CurseForge for the very first time. If it's your first time ever using CurseForge, it is going to ask you what game that you want to play on, so please go ahead and select on Minecraft. Then as you're able to tell, I already do have a bunch of mods and mod packs that I did install throughout the years. But what you want to do is you want to go over here and search for a particular mod or mod pack, or you guys can go ahead and select on the browse option over here and find some mod packs to actually play on. So there's a lot of great options over here. So for this video, let's go ahead and actually play, uh, let's go ahead and play Pixelmon. So I do have Pixelmon right over here, one of the more popular mod packs. So what you want to do is you want to find it. Of course, you could use the search bar. Then you just want to go ahead and press on install right over here. Now, I already installed it, so that's why for me it says play. But if you haven't downloaded your mod pack already, please go ahead and do so. You could also download mods as well. Now, it may take a little while to install depending on how big the mod pack is. But anyways, afterwards, what you want to do is you want to go to the left menu and scroll down until you see settings just like so. Then please make sure that CurseForge is selected. And then where it says when I close CurseForge, make sure that exit CurseForge is selected. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and close out of it. Then go ahead and close out of the CurseForge application. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open the essential installer file right over here, the one that we did download previously. So go ahead and press on open right over here. All right, afterwards, all you want to do is you want to press on get started. Then where it says select your launcher, instead of clicking Minecraft launcher, you're going to need to select CurseForge just like so. And over here, you should see a list of all of the different like mods and mod packs that you did install, which is why we did download it beforehand. So here is the Pixel mod pack. Yep, here it is. So all you want to do is you want to select on the mod or mod pack you're playing with. Then where it says Minecraft version, go ahead and just keep it the way it is. And for mod loader, keep it the way it is as well. Then you want to press on update and install essential just like so. And now just wait for essential to be installed. All right, once it says installed, you can go ahead and just close out of it. And now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up CurseForge like you normally would. All right, then go ahead and locate the mod or mod pack you're trying to play on, then go ahead and press on play. All right, then once the Minecraft launcher is installed, make sure that Java Edition is selected. Make sure that the mod or mod pack that you're trying to play with is selected right over here, then go ahead and press on play. All right, once you're over here, you'll now notice that we will get this brand new menu in our mod pack. So you're going to notice that we're going to get a bunch of new buttons. And basically the way it works is that you and all your friends need to install the same mod pack and also the essential mod. So guys, please be sure to send this video to your friends. But basically what you need to do is you need to add the 
them as a friend on the Ascension mod, and then afterwards, you're able to go ahead and play together. So here's how it works. You want to go ahead and press on social right over here. Then you want to select on this plus button that says add friend, and then go ahead and enter in your friend's username just like so. Then go ahead and press on add. All they need to do is accept your friend request, and then afterwards, you guys are good to go. Now, in order to begin hosting your Minecraft world, all you want to do is you want to select on this button that says host. Then you guys can load into a pre-existing Minecraft world that you want to play multiplayer in. Or you guys can go ahead and start a fresh brand new world as well. But I'm just going to press on next. Then I'm going to go ahead and press on next. And then from here, you guys are able to go ahead and invite all your friends. And all you want to do is you want to press on host world. All right, guys. So here we are in our Minecraft server. So again, if you ever want to invite someone, go ahead and press on invite. And then you can go ahead and just re-invite people as well. And then from there, you guys are able to go ahead and play multiplayer mods together. If you're wondering how I got shaders, I also did make a separate video showing you guys how to do that as well. So that is something you guys could take a look at please like comment subscribe see you later french fries